So I just want to talk about cubes today. So mm -hmm. now, why do we create an intelligent cube? Mm -hmm. That's a question. So let's say, for example, you have an you have a report which is hitting some millions of I mean millions of records in backend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a 500 million records fact table, some 100 k of dimensions, and you want to pull the data from that table. So it's a huge table you have at backend. When you hit it, like you know, you you have a lot of filters and everything in your report. Definitely, it will take some time to retrieve data, right? Yes. Imagine you have to ref you have to get this data every day at at early morning at six o'clock. Imagine, okay, for your users. Mm -hmm. And imagine there are 100 users who wanted to see that same report. Mm -hmm. What happened if 100 users run that report at a time? Okay. Mm -hmm. So imagine 100 users are running that report at a time. That huge table gonna uh, database. It will be a lot of performance problem, right? Because imagine yeah. 100 100 million records. Imagine 100 million records table. It's been hit by 100 users at a time. Imagine for every mm -hmm. 10 minutes, someone is executing that same report. Yeah. It will die, right? So for that, what yeah. you do? One minute. If you do what, what you do, you gonna have a semantic layer, something like that. Let's say instead of hitting that, you want to cache the data or put it in some place and everything, right? Similarly, mm -hmm. what we do is we create intelligent cube. We pull the data into cube. Cube is something data stores into it, which is in MicroStrategy, and then mm -hmm. you create report on that cube. What happens? Every day, only one time you will refresh that cube, data will be populated with latest one. And on top, you create 100 reports, that doesn't matter, because it's not going to database anymore. Data is already in mm -hmm. MicroStrategy, right? Like a staging type. Uh... Correct. So it's, it's something like, you know, in memory, like, you know, you will have a MicroStrategy, it's go to database, get the data, store it in MicroStrategy memory, and on top of it, it generates report. How it does, I'll show you. You can convert the report to intelligent cube, or you can create a new intelligent cube. Make sense? Uh, yes, sir. Let's convert that report. Creating cube is very easy, but let's let me show you convert it. Go to data on the top. In the bottom, intelligent cube options convert to intelligent cube. Mm -hmm. To see if that's converted or not, on the top left side, you see the symbol got changed, cube symbol. Save and close it, name it as brand cube. Save and close it, save and close it, first I'll tell you. Save and close it, name it as brand cube, brand cube. Okay. Now go to save it, go to desktop, okay. So you see the cube has been added, right? Brand cube is there. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now double click and run that. Always remember, what does it show in the message? It will, cube will not show you the data. It says data has been loaded into cube. You can use it for your further reporting. That's what it does. It stores data, but it never, like you know, show you what data inside. Save and close it. You can see the SQL. It will be a regular SQL, like you know, the day it's hitting database and it's getting the data. But any report, whatever report you are creating on top of this queue, will not go to database. It will get data from this queue only. Now, right click uh, on the report, see the SQL view. Right click on the mm -hmm. queue, view SQL. Yeah. It is going to database hitting three tables, right? Mm -hmm. Now close this, right click on cube again. Create report. Click on view, view, report objects, no. 
డబుల్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ బ్రాండ్ అండ్ కాస్ట్ రన్ ద రిపోర్ట్ సి ద సీక్వల్ యూ Intelligent cube, Shaxis, the brand cube. Yeah. If you look at the select statement, select brand ID, brand description, sum of cost from brand cube, not from three tables anymore. Right? Yeah, it is, uh, yeah, brand cube. Yeah. So, <clears throat> performance wise, it is too good to use intelligent cubes if you are dealing with a lot of data. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Perform the cross tabbing. So that's in Debian queue. Now mm-hmm. you can create, go to desktop, you can create directly, right click and create cube and add the report, add the objects and everything. Okay? And then on top of it, no, 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 hold on. You can, you can right click on, I mean you can go to the top left side, report symbol drop down, drop down. Mm-hmm. No, you're not getting my point. right side on the white page right click on the mm-hmm. white page right click on the white page mm-hmm. new intelligent cube it does the same thing click okay okay either you create a report convert it to intelligent cube or you can create a brand, brand new intelligent cube also make sense okay again yeah yeah again so it's on the there already okay. it's there yeah yeah mm-hmm. Okay. You add whatever we want, you can do it. But remember very important thing I am telling you today. You mm-hmm. cannot have consolidations, custom groups, prompts, I mean like you know all these things. Very few prompts works on Intelligent Cube again. But custom mm-hmm. groups, consolidations, these will never work in Intelligent Cube. Ah, uh, okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. You just need to make sure on those things, okay? Okay. Now, close this, go back to report. Mm-hmm. Right click and edit the, the report, whatever we created just now. Not that one. No, 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 that's cube, right? Any report. This is the whole thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, can you go to design mode? Mm-hmm. Okay, now go to data or, or you can run the report and go to data, go to data. Mm-hmm. Click on report data options. Mm-hmm. Click on the report limit on the top left side. You do you remember filter? Mm-hmm. So it restricts data for any any value, right? Yes. You know, you know what is having clause, right? You can recreate yeah. restrict data on aggregations. Even mm-hmm. report limit does the same thing. Oh, okay. Report you will get in a having clause. Cost greater than forty thousand. You can do it here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Click on the modify button. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay. On the top, double click on right right side. Top, double click. Mm -hmm. So it is going to metric filter. Do you see that? Yes. So that's how it works. Okay. Always remember. Don't do mm -hmm. anything. Close it. Close it. Okay. We don't need to create anything. Close it. Okay, now close this one, click no. Click on metric what? join type. <laughs> Always remember the basic fundamental thing in micro strategies. First table micro strategies equal hit is fat table. Mm -hmm. By default, it is left join. I mean like you know inner join. Metric okay. is always inner join, attribute is always outer join. If you want to change okay. it, if there is any requirement, any strong reason, then you have to change it to outer. Make sense? Okay. Click yeah. on attribute join type. So it's by default outer in the bottom you can see, but you can change it if requires. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Evaluation order and subtotals, those are very simple things. Evaluation order is something like, you know, you have four metrics, cost, profit, derived metric and everything. So you can put an mm -hmm. order when you're aggregating for consolidation, custom group or anything. Let's say first calculate cost, then calculate profit, then calculate cost minus profit. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That's how you put it. If you click on the default, click on the default right side, drop down, you will see numbers. Right? Mm -hmm. If you have more, you will see more numbers. Okay? okay? I mean, order you are telling. First calculate this, first calculate this, next this one. Now click on display left side. It's a very important thing and a very simple thing to deal with. Alias. Mm -hmm. So you want to say that item 1 as item. Right side, type it. Right side, alias. Type there, item. Instead of TV, you can type there television. You know, if it is that, if the same thing you wanted to type, type as television and cost you you can type. And this is alias. That's it. Okay, renaming okay. the values. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now click null values. That's very 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 important. I'll tell you, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. All are checked. You need to uncheck them. Okay. Uncheck the first one, last two ones. I'll tell you what are those things. If at all you have any null values in your database and you mm -hmm. don't want to display the null values in the report, mm -hmm. you uncheck that. In the box you can type not applicable, n by a, you can do whatever you wanted to type there. The first okay. box, okay, on the mm -hmm. first box. Aggregative null values, what does it mean? Let's say you are aggregating to some extent, like you know, you are, you are calculating the report and you are aggregating. The output of that, if it is null or zero or anything, you want to replace with a dash or a, or you want it to show as 99 or like you know, 100 or flag, why, no, yes, all these things, you can replace them. The last one is, if there is anything missing value, <clears throat> so there is a difference between missing value, null value and and a space or anything, right? There could be any character or anything. You can replace them whatever you want. These are mm -hmm. used in your reporting on a daily basis. Okay? Mm -hmm. These are small things but very important, you know? Okay. Click OK for now. The remaining things are general stuff like, you know, nothing is there. So you can see instead of TV it shows television, item is showing, cost is showing, name is completed. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now click on data. This is also very important but you don't do it on a daily basis. You need to have a strong reason if you are implementing this. That is called VLDB properties. When do you go with that? Whenever there is a performance issue in your reporting. Mm -hmm. You have a performance issue then only you go for VLDB properties. Let's say your report is running very slow. Mm -hmm. You want to make it run fast. Let's say you have nulls and zeros in your report. You wanted to mm -hmm. show them as first because you want to highlight the, your report with nulls and zeros. 
so that users can find like what's going on you can do that you can do the mm -hmm. you know anything can be possible okay but i don't want to go through with everything but it's very simple and spoon feeding stuff the very important thing is query optimization and joining okay mm -hmm. but you can expand analytical engine quickly i'll tell you and governing analytical engine expanded you can see display mm -hmm. null on top you know you want to display null on top or not that's your choice right mm -hmm. do you want to display null values or not is also a question the third option okay subtotal okay. remember consolidations if you wanted to show subtotal you need to enable them you remember oh. Okay. Yeah. So the governing. Can you explain governing? Same thing actually here in the governing as well. Most of the things are like you know, pretty much same and easy. Auto commit whenever you wanted to save it. Intermediate row limit. Let's say you want to display only certain number of records. You want to display like you know, uh, you want to set the row limit. How much? Let's say your report is running more than five minutes, and it is throwing mm -hmm. error like timeout error. Mm -hmm. You want to work on that. So all these things are required. Now expand joins. You know SQL joins, right? Inner join, outer join, mm -hmm. uh, join from from clause, and like you know, uh, click on the joins, joins. Mm -hmm. Click on joins and click on Cartesian join, the cross join, right? Cross join. It, it you should not use it, but by default mm -hmm. it says even though cross join, let's execute. Okay, that's what you have. Right side, a lot of options. You can uncheck and you can check whatever you want it. Always remember when you are doing also it. Uncheck it. There is a right side checkbox, right? Use default inherited value. It's down. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. Okay. But never do it. I'm telling you seriously. Unless there is a requirement, don't do it. Okay? Join type. Okay. Click on join type. Mm -hmm. So you see different types. Join 89, 32, like you know, standards and everything. Right? Now, <clears throat> click on query optimization. This is important. If you want to optimize your query, you use this. I mean, it's very easy again. Apply filter options. Click on apply filter options. Mm -hmm. So what it is saying, where do you want to apply the filter? In the last parts of the SQL, if there are 100 passes. Last parts of the SQL are the data warehousing touching tables or the, uh, you know, fact tables or logical tables which one you wanted to join you can check that 